right, guys, so it has literally been exactly a week since I was here at this spot with a broken suspension system, okay? My air struts failed, I had the dreaded suspension fault. It was just miserable. And luckily, my shop, uh, they had a very quick turnaround time and we gutted that system and we put in the Old Man Emu coil overs uh, with the two inch SYA kit. So I have four inches total of lift and I am stuck at that height, right? So I don't have the ability to raise or lower it uh, cause I'm not in air suspension anymore. I was worried that the ride would be harsh uh, that it wouldn't be as smooth, uh, that it would be kind of jarring because I'm used to driving lifted Jeeps and, and you know, that's kind of a uh, bumpy experience typically. And I had a very good suspension system on my Jeep. Um, but uh, yeah, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Um, this is my first day driving it. I can tell you that on the highway, at highway speeds, I actually feel more comfortable uh, with this coilover setup. Driving up the canyon in the turns, I mean, I'm not hitting the apexes and, and late braking and stuff, but I felt more confident with this coilover system than I did with the air suspension. Here's where the real test will be though. What will it feel like off-road? Well, we're gonna find that out today. And uh, yeah, this is, this is my first day driving it so far. I'm very happy, but let's see. All right. You guys see my little adult film setup? POV, baby. Let's get it. Now, the good thing about this system is with that reflash module, I can still switch it uh, to, let's see, what, what do we want to put on here? We're not in mud ruts. Um, you know what? We're going to do sand because uh, it will get sandy um, a little bit further on in the trail. All right, heading into some water here. Took that little bump like a champ. Wow. This is honestly impressive how well this is doing in comparison to the air suspension. I, ca I can honestly say I don't miss it at all. I do not miss that system at all. And I have the peace of mind of not having to worry about that system breaking down on this platform. It's just, it, it was a no brainer. Was it an expensive undertaking? Yes, but hopefully it's going to be like a one and done thing. So I just knock it out, don't have to worry about it again. And uh, I can just continue having fun with the vehicle. So yeah, fingers crossed that, that it stays that way. this area like at higher speeds at lower speeds we've been hitting some rocks we've been hitting some mud we've been doing some water crossings we've gone through sand and we've gone through pavement and highway to get here it, it I honestly don't know why anybody wouldn't do this conversion um, I understand it's a bit cost prohibitive uh, for for a lot of people I mean two thousand dollars uh, in parts plus, you know, whatever you're gonna pay in labor unless you do it yourself. Uh, that's a pretty penny to pay, uh, but I will say it's worth it. All right, guys, well, I'm back in the office. Uh, I actually just finished the Saturday live stream on the Time Teller channel. Uh, forgive me if you hear some drilling, they're doing some construction outside the office, but I can honestly say this was an incredibly good decision. For once, I made a very good decision uh, going with coilovers on the Land Rover. All the things I was worried about 
uh, have disappeared. They never came to fruition. It's not a very stiff ride at all. Um, when I'm turning on the canyons, uh, I actually feel more stable and more planted and it feels uh, very comfortable. I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm really rolling a ton, but then uh, on the bumps when I'm off road, it, it sops them up very nicely. And then I can still hit highway speeds, uh, no problem. I feel very stable and uh, it, it, it's, it's not jarring uh, the teeth out of my skull. So I think that this was great. I think it was worth every penny. And, um, actually, as I was leaving, uh, some guy was coming in, uh, with his LR4 and he was like, man, you're flexing on me with your build. And I was like, yeah, well, this is my, my first day with, uh, coilovers. Um, and I asked him if he was still on the air suspension. He's like, yeah, I'm still on air suspension, but I'm thinking about it. And I told him like from everything I've experienced today, I say, go for it. So, um, yeah, guys, if you're on the fence about doing the same thing to yours, I say, get off that fence and buy it. And, and they're not sponsoring me guys. I'm not getting paid for this, but you want to know who is sponsoring me Vero and Orient to give away three watches to, to you guys. So you have three chances to win, uh, three very cool watches. So a Vero workhorse, uh, and two Orient watches, Three lucky winners. All you got to do is subscribe to this channel. It's easy peasy, guys. All right, so I'll catch you on the next one. Um, yeah, a little update. I figured uh, a lot of people were worried about the Land Rover, so I, I, I wanted to get this episode out as quickly as possible. All right, guys, I'm T3. It's time to drive.